Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I am cooking a karahi as I've seen some videos on it and I've been wanting to eat it. So again, I don't know how to cook. Uh, it's my third time cooking and now we're gonna try it and let's see how it turns out. So after heating up the oil, put in the chicken, uh, make sure you don't overheat the oil like me. Otherwise it's gonna start sliding around and uh, just put the chicken in and start moving it. So now that I got the chicken inside, it's cooking. I want to turn it brown a little so I can half cook it. Again, I just took half a chicken because it's just two people's dinner. A full chicken is way too much for us. So I made a karahi before once and one of the mistakes I did was not let the chicken cook and put the tomatoes in really fast and the problem that came out was uh, the chicken wasn't cooked properly. So I want to cook at least more than 50% right now. So now that we got a little more brownish, I got some ginger garlic paste and I'm going to be using, I'm not using crushed ginger or anything. I'm just using the paste directly. So I'll be putting in about one, one spoon. And for ginger garlic, uh, what it does is it helps um, like cook the chicken. So I want to brush that off. So you want the chicken to turn brown before you start putting the tomatoes in? Uh, you know, I'm going to use about one teaspoon of uh, salt. So, not teaspoon, but tablespoon. And uh, I want to first, let's put half. So, uh, so the chicken can marinate with the salt. And then I'm just putting a little. I put in four small tomatoes. I put them as whole. You can cut them up and put it in and also four Thai chilies. And I'm also putting in some oil. Uh, you can put in a little water, but oil is a little fine. Not too much though. Now you want to cook the tomatoes to the moment that the skin can start coming off. So now I got the tomatoes uh, all cooked. You see the skins are coming out of them. So now we're going to start peeling, taking them off. Now that I got the skins off, I want to start mixing them so that the tomato is all, um, it's all mixed in. Remember not to have too much oil because the gravy is going to come from the tomato. So the spices I want to use, since this is a half chicken, I'm going to be using uh, I'm going to use uh, coriander powder, cumin powder, uh, black pepper powder, uh, red chili powder, and turmeric. That's five powders I'm going to be using. And for the full chicken, I saw that the people are using about one teaspoon, one tablespoon, or well, the big one, I don't know which one that is, but I'm going to be using around a half. So the first one I got is the coriander cumin powder. Since this one is a mix, I'm using a little more than half a spoon. Next, I got turmeric powder, which is also half a tablespoon. Red chili powder, also half a tablespoon. And black pepper powder, but a little less than half a tablespoon. And a little more salt since I didn't add a lot of salt in the beginning. And let's mix it all up. So the last thing I want to do is add some butter. You don't have to add the butter, but the butter gives it a little more thick texture and a little more buttery taste, which makes it much better. Once the butter dissolves, your karahi is ready. Just add some cilantro and serve it to your guests. 